Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing a Saint Laurent bag and let me tell you, this bag has been on my bucket list for about two years. And I can't believe I actually have one. This is a small bag, guys. It is a small bag. <sighs> ah! I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh my God, she's even more beautiful in person. More beautiful. This is the Cassandra bag from Saint Laurent. And this is the smaller one. I've never had a small one before. I've only ever had the larger size. And let me tell you, I think this is the perfect going to the markets, going on a picnic, going to a festival type of bag. It is just beautiful. It does have relaxed vibes. Um, and I mean, she's so cute. So I'm gonna give you guys a nice little close up. So this one has that unusual closure where you do this and it pops open like so. And you kind of got to do the same thing to put it back. It's a little bit fiddly. I have spoken about that in the past. There is a little bit of black leather in between there. I think it's actually blocking like some sort of closing device. Um, I think that's why they put that on the logo like that. Um, and then this one has the black trim all the way around. Now I do have another raffia bag from Louis Vuitton, but that has tan accents. And I feel like this just gives a completely different vibe because of the black accents. There's also a tiny little feet down the bottom. I'm definitely gonna have to compare this to a mini Kelly because it is on par size wise with the mini Kelly. And there's also a pocket at the back, a long pocket. The leather is so smooth guys. So keep that in mind. It will scratch to all buggery. Um, this smooth leather does that, but it's sort of part of the charm. Uh, and then when you open, you've got the logo there, the Saint Laurent logo, and then it's just two bucket construction. And there's a slip pocket at the back, which is the size of like a credit card. And that is all. So just two compartments and a slip pocket. And that is it. Now, this, I'm actually super grateful that the bag came with this strap intact. These are the clips that are super problematic, really, really hard to put together. So if you can get it with it assembled, then it's great. The leather is super soft. Even the strap, it has a lot of structure, but I can feel the leather is really, really soft. The first comparison I want to do is with the Mini Kelly. They are kind of similar in width. Wouldn't be surprised if their bases are nearly the same. Let's have a look. Very, very similar. Obviously you can fit more in the Cassandra bag. It is a taller bag and it's not so skinny A-framed on the sides. But, you know, I would probably say it's probably twice as big as the Mini Kelly. It doesn't look like it on screen, but in reality, I would say not much fits in this. So you can fit a little bit more. It is a small mini, it's a mini small bag, if that makes sense. On the smaller side of a small bag this bag. The next comparison I want to do is with my other Cassandra bag. This is the Cassandra bag size that I currently own. I've got it in black and I've got it in this beautiful tan with the suede. Um, and you can see they are drastically different. I actually think this bag is a really good like proportion uh, when it's on the body. I think it will look amazing. Whereas this can look a little bit boxy and a little bit big. So depending. You can kind of see there the differences there. They are chalk and cheese, guys. They're so, so different inside. It's unbelievable. So this Cassandra bag is way bigger. And the last bag comparison is this Chanel flat bag with top handle, whatever this bag is called, doesn't really have a name. Um, because I feel like the sizing of these two are really, really similar. I know on screen it doesn't look like it, but I think capacity wise, I think they're going to be very similar, if not identical. This one is a one, 
bucket construction, okay, that folds out. Whereas this one is two compartments and it's a little bit harder to fold out. So keep that in mind, guys. If you want bags that are easy to get in and out of, this is not one of them. Remember guys, if you are liking this video, subscribe to my channel. I know lots of you watch my videos and actually don't subscribe. That's right. I know you, you, I'm pointing right at you. So hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can get notified of my videos. All right, let's head into the mod shots now. Obviously you can handhold this bag. As mentioned, the strap is a little bit fiddly to take on and off. So I'll be leaving this strap on all the time because the last thing I want to do is to put it on and off because of that tricky, tricky clip closure. Um, but you can hold it like this. You can't put it in the crook of your hand because it is a very small opening, a bit like the Mini Kelly. So that's not really how it's going to be worn. I will show you guys this on the shoulder. This can be adjusted. Now I'm saying can in quotation marks because it is tricky. This strap is really tricky. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like, just like this, how it came, but it can be tighter and it can be looser as well. So this looks like it's on the middle closure on the middle adjustment. Um, so this is on the shoulder. I'll show you guys how that looks and how far it drops. And then I'm going to show you this crossbody. I deliberately wore a summer dress today because this is how I imagine using this bag. I wish I had a summer dress in black, but I don't. So I'm just wearing this one. I think it still works. I think the coloring of this is really beautiful and I cannot wait to take this traveling, especially if I'm going into the country or to the coast or traveling around Australia, I think this would be beautiful. I imagine myself in Byron Bay. If anyone has been to Byron Bay, they know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, there you go. The crossbody is where it's at for me. I think I'll definitely be wearing this crossbody a lot. I think it's the perfect size. That really beautiful small size is effortless and you're not really gonna feel it on your frame, even though it is a boxy bag. There you go, guys. What do you think of this new Cassandra bag in the mini raffia version? Do you love it as much as I do? Am I being an obsessed freak for no reason? Let me know in the comments. Have you guys owned any raffia bags in the past? And how much wear did you get out of your raffia bags? I know we're going through a bit of a moment with raffia the past couple of years, but it doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, I've seen those mesh kind of shopping bags that kind of look a little bit raffia everywhere, the knitted ones that are everywhere as well. So I feel like we are still obsessed with this trend. Am I right or am I wrong? Thank you so much for getting this far and watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like if you haven't already. It really helps the algorithm out. And you can head to my Instagram if you would like more content. I post daily over there. Uh, polls, giveaways, and a hell of a lot more. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.